I'm Songkyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I am finally doing some sweet Korean street food, hot dog. It is it is dessert. It can be savory if you choose to fill up little savory fillings, but I'm going to make the classic hot dog. It's a Korean pancake with some little sweet sugar nutty filling inside. It is so delicious. So let's get started. First, we are going to make the dough. Um, you will need 1 and 30 cup of warm milk. You want the milk to be warm, like when you put your finger in it, it's like a cozy warm, you know what I'm talking about, when you're taking a bath or taking a shower, that temperature. So the yeast can activate it the best. Okay, now I'm going to add one teaspoon of dry yeast and one tablespoon of sugar so the yeast will eat the sugar because they love sugar, so they will activate even better. And whisk. Whisk until the yeast and sugar dissolves into the warm milk and we are going to let it sit for 5 minutes. So meanwhile, let's mix all the dry ingredients. You will need 3 cups of bread flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, and using your dough hook, just mix together like this. I'm using stand mixer because it's really convenient but if you don't have it you can definitely do it with your hand that just it will be a little workout on your arms yeast is activated i can see like little these bubbles right on surface of the milk i'm going to pour into my flour knead the dough about 10 minutes on medium low speed The dough consistency we are looking for, it, it looks a little sticky, but then it's not sticky. <laughs> so they are really soft. You want it to be like this one right here. So anyways, now we are going to cover with plastic wrap and let it rise for three hours in a warm place. Now you can see the dough looks a little more wet, a little more sticky now. And if you pull the dough, you will see this looks like a spider web. A lot of them means this dough rolls really well. So I'm going to cover back because we are going to make the filling. I'm going to show you how to make the classic filling, which is 3 quarter cup of brown sugar and 1 teaspoon of cinnamon. Just like this, this is the basic, basic uh, filling for hot dog. And if you like to, you can add a little chopped nuts like I'm going to do it. But it's totally up to you, add the chopped nuts or not. It's not absolutely you have to do it. And what kind of nuts, it's totally up to you. Again, you can use a peanut, walnut, pecan, um, hazelnuts, anything you want it. Or you can all mix like me. I mix the hazelnut, walnut, and peanuts here. So I'm going to put it in the Ziploc bag. Instead of chopping, I want them to be a little more fine than just chopped nuts. So I'm going to put in Ziploc bag and little saucepan. I'm just going to smash them down. Thinking about person that you don't like. Okay, I think this is good. This is about three tablespoons. And I'm going to add into my sugar and cinnamon mixture. Mix one more time. One thing really good in here is vanilla. Vanilla is super delicious in here. So dough and filling is ready. All we have to do before we start foaming them, we are going to heat our large nonstick glass over medium heat with uh, enough oil to cover the whole entire skillet. Meanwhile, the skillet and oil is heating up. Let's shave the hot stuff. So what you need to do first is wet your hand completely with oil. I'm using canola oil because it doesn't have any color or taste or smell. And you want to use those kind of oil like a vegetable, corn, canola, sunflower oil kind of thing. Make sure all your fingers are coated with the oil too so they won't stick to your fingers or your hand and grab about two ounces of dough, a little bit bigger than a golf ball, and just shape it as a round 
like a ball and then stretch it out like this just like that and then put about a tablespoon of filling in the middle just close it seal it tightly because how sticky the dough is they will close really easily you won't need like a special skill to do that so this is like really straight Korean street vendor style of a hot dog. We are going to put this shaped hot dog onto the hot skillet, seam side down. Just remember, you need to give them a lot of room from each other because we are going to press down and they're going to extend their sides. Cook the first side two to three minutes or until it's nicely golden brown. You can actually check it, just like a little lift up and see how the color is going. And if it's nice golden brown, flip it over and then press. To cook hot dog, you can totally using this spatula but I'm going to use this uh, special hot dog presser <laughs> because it's really convenient when you press down the hot dog but it, you can do exactly the same thing with just regular spatula too so no worries I'm using spatula and the hot dog press same time when I'm flipping over the hot dog so that way I can have more control and the oil splash is less cook 2-3 to three minutes on the other side and hot dog is ready for ya <laughs> Yes. You want sugar or Nutella? Nutella. More sugar, please. Okay. Nutella, one for Trinity. Sugar, please. Okay. Yeah. This used to be uh, not one of my favorites, but uh, I only had sugar. it a couple times. But these things are like less than a buck too, and there's always a big long line waiting to get them. We're cheers. Cheers. Okay. She didn't cheers. She's just eating it. Mmm. 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 Mmm! <laughs> mm, makes mm. me happy. <laughs> I like the chewy dough. It's really chewy, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's like the crispy outside. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. And the nuts. You can't go wrong with the Nutella. Mm -hmm. Nutella is where it's at. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So I like the classic one. I like the crisp one too because I grow up eating this. This flavor makes me want coffee. I really like the Nutella one too. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Melts in your mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I think Man. cheese would be very good too. Mm. Mm. The sugar melted is keep oozing out. Mm. Yeah. I think we are happy people right now. This is your first time actually trying Korean sweets, right? Mm. Mm. Impressed. <laughs> <laughs> if you liked my hot dog recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeong Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time.